Hey guys, I'm Nick and M, and I'm back with friend Bo, and she's now a tree, and we're a cat, and that's what's happening, and she's being poked by a fat carrot, so yeah, that's what's going on, and that looks to be her purse. I can see my friend's purse. Okay. All right, easy enough. What the fuck, man? Okay, oh wait, what's this? Ooh, I'll take this stone, it's shiny! Oh, look at him carrying it in his little mouth. Can we... put that in there? I have some, I have seen similar mechanics, they circulate. Take, take the crystal. Nice, now it won't undo. Sweet. I got the purse, only because I'm the best. True. You're the best kitty ever. Fran, are you dead? Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now, show sir who's attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okay. Look at the cute little paw. With walking vegetable. Okay. Unanum ni hukaha runma paski hurto. Okay. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Get in the boat, cat. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Una uke runma ipo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right there with you, Mo. Galopa, galopa. Okay, that just happened. Flying boat vegetable people. Chapter three, vegetative state. Oh, okay, vegetable. Okay. Ooh, strawberries. Eat me by the middle bear. Yar, ni how loud. He looks old. You're a show, Epton Gosta. Every time you're free old. Goshka's yaro. Welcome, creature. My name is Ya. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ryde told me you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Uh, okay. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Oh, <laughs> no need to speak, child. The seed will show me everything. Okay, so they're doing some weird tree magic. Oh no, yeah, just pull it out. Sure. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran, the girl with a passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of the gates. Interesting. You can see all of that in the seed? Be quiet. Okay. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Okay. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. 
There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. I'm not sure I believe that entirely. I mean, if you want to get philosophical about it, you could say that somebody who doesn't have love in their life might as well be dead, but... I mean, there are people who have died that I still love, so then if death is nothing more than the absence of love, then they would not be dead, which... I mean, if you really do think about it, if somebody's memory lives on, then they're not really dead because you love them, and if you remember them, you love them, so... Okay, I'm going to stop with Philosophy 101 and continue playing the game. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? Didn't the seed say that? My name is Mr. Midnight, meow. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of... Ethirsta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel safe at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it is your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to walk and talk on this land. Oh, yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. That doesn't sound good. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh. 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 Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand, my kitty? I did it. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? No, but she is. A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a terrifying thing. That's like a brooch with weirder, longer legs. Ugh, ugh. No, don't touch me, please. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Meow. Oh, no. Don't come near me. Oh, Dad, don't touch me. Ew, ew, ew. Get, get off me, you weird brooch thing. Ugh, ugh, my skin is crawling. That's, yeah, that's pretty hot. It, it just, like, pooped me down. What is that? What is that? You look so fluffy. And soothing. Good day. My name is Palantreth. 
I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing! What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing! Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Well, that's better than, like, Roach putting me on its back, I guess. Oh, pink waterfall. My sister would love it. Okay, no, just drop me in. Well, at least she floats. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great, the locusts, created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Um... Who is the Great Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness. And one day, he fell. He fell so badly. His heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Thyrsta. And his blood made this water pink. So you're bathing in king blood, kinda. Diluted king blood. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it you are here? What brought you to Thirsta? My kitty and I, we're on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big, mo the big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. That needed a semicolon, not a comma. That was a comma splice. Ugh. My inner English teacher. Sorry, guys. I am what I am. Uh, but yeah, my inner English teacher is just trembling at that comma splice. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. See? See? Uh, proper use of a semicolon. Actually, no, that should be a colon. <sighs> Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. Oh, like a butterfly. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this myself? Wow. But Poluntris or Poluntris? Polontras? Pawn? Nah. Polontras, sir. How? I didn't even know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to Ethirsta, you opened the door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. That's a little racist. Well, he looks like he's going to cry. 
I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. 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 But let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. You could have done that at any time while we were talking. Oh, look, you've got hair, too, and a face. How do you feel, Fran from Etherstone? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had, and you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. An old man? I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Well, okay. I'll sit on your head. Whee! Thank you for letting me bathe in the blood water. A little gory. Here we are again. Shows the are the king what a nice Ethirstenese you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. All right. Fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Ha ha ha. Here I am. Oh, I love that um, throne. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Meow. Oh, let me see you. What a great Ethereistenese you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, Palantros will be pal, paloon, meh, Palantros will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about the great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that could open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside the castle yet, and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Kotrem. We haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs that we can't read. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great affairs oh, excuse me. Affairs today and good luck finding the great wizard. Hi, Polontris. Oh, and there you go out the window. Wow! Did you see that huge fluffy kit creature kitty? That's Polontris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Thank you, kitty. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake next to your clothes. Hmm. Well, we'll have to do other things anyway. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. <laughs> yes, Mount Cotrim. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Okay. 
Oh, I love paper squirrels. These are huge. Oh, these flowers are huge. The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. They look so tasty, but I won't eat right now. Oh, weird bug dude. I don't want to talk to you. You're creepy. Okay. Um, no, no. You can't get in. It's closed. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter. Then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head that's very positive. Y yeah? <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? And that would be my cap. Well, that's logic. The sun goes around the second moon of the Thyrsta, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And only when that happens in fall and winter. Okay. You see the flying vegetables out here? Oh, you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you'd like to ask me questions. Okay. Oh, stop licking yourself, kitty. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Ethirsta. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Okay. Um, you told... That was the cat. Meow, you told me that we have to find Meow Goldrum and the Great Wizard. Okay. So we can't go down there? No? Okay, library closed. That's a weird time slot. Oh, I see many clouds. I was flying both, but how? Who knows? What is this? Like a movie theater? Or like a dock. It's a dock for the boats. Okay. Must be. Haha, <laughs> tiny bees would love these flowers and kiss them a lot. Not quite what goes on between bees and flowers, but okay. Another bu- oh, are these all going to be bug people? Can't read that for shit. Oh wow, I don't understand. Hello, sir. Um. What are you doing? Just standing here, you see. It seems like a very girly bug. Oh, I see. Do you know where Mount Cotrin is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm. The Mount Cotrim is only in wintertime. Wintertime? What are you talking about? Hmm. Of course. Wintertime. What do you think? But I can't wait for wintertime. No, oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? But how? Ah, sorry, I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir, ma'am, bug. Cat, stop licking yourself. Um, keep going. Okay, cool. This looks like honeycomb. I really like it. It's very pretty. The flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Very pretty. I wonder what kind of stones these are. Look at the fish. Okay. No idea how to read that. Was Okay, that must have been where Polontris took us. Up there. Um, was that the thing we just came down so what's this I think that's the cat okay so no we were just there then so what's this a mountain the ground Palantris is home okay boats an island a very little island I wonder if it says Etherista okay so it's a map no use trying to read these huh oh wow they Okay, so library and castle, that must be there. That That's to the mountain, and that's to a grocery cart? 
The way to the market. Okay. A mountain, a tree, and a little water. It must be the woods. Let's go this way then. That looks like a big clock in a tree. That's a very hot clock. Where are the numbers? The symbols and colors, but it doesn't show the time. Okay, which way is which? Oh, it sounds like something broke. Good job, Fran. Um, that way. Oh, okay. Oh, a basket. It's empty. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good. Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower, beautiful creation. Mm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? I do. They're a bit sour for my taste. But lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I do with the lemons for the customers at the bar, you know. I put some other stuff inside too so we can fly. So it's adult lemonade. Fly? Oh, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that's why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds so fun. Thank you. Bye. And my kitty is coughing up a hairball. Not this kitty. My kitty. Which, where did my ki where did this kitty go? There. There she is. Okay, we said that. Huh, it must say something important. I wonder what this is. It shows a mountain. It must be Mount Katrem. Okay. So the wizard's here, but only in winter time. Do I just wait until winter? Nothing but trees and flowers. Okay. A little confusing. Mountain top is very high because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I have no idea. But all my voices tend to sound exactly the same in this place for one reason or another. Okay. That doesn't look great. Oh, wow. What are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are the locus. Oh, you're very shiny. And you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velocus will receive the shield. I'm back my pea mill grow, I'm back grind. Okay then. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. I like that notion. But I wish to know many things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now and too strong to let it go. Oh, okay. But... Aw, oh, Fran, don't cry. Dear, don't be sad. No, we have to keep going. Aw. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Okay, we do indeed. But for now, I think we should call it a day because we are out of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you're enjoying it. I know that was a lot of exposition and not a lot of doing. But hopefully in the next episode, we'll get to do things. Um... Yeah, but if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave me a like or a comment saying what you enjoyed or tips and tricks. No spoilers, please, but tips and tricks like, you know, 
maybe you should go back towards the market or whatever, wherever I'm supposed to go next. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe because there will be a new episode the day after tomorrow. And I hope to see you there. Bye! <laughs>